I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Raising up young adults in today's world is not easy. On you, the parents, and on the young adults. Number one, when we were growing up, particularly in Nigeria, there was social justice. You got whatever you got on merit. You didn't need to know any person. Your father did not need to be connected. Today, before you can study courses like medicine and law, sometimes in some universities, you need to be heavily connected before you can be admitted because thousands of students will apply and uh, only a few will be given um, admission. The vice chancellor, the lecturers, the king, the senator, the governor, they will send their candidates. And even to join the army, you will need recommendation from a major general and all that. So the tables are turned against the children who do not come from the ruling class, the elite class. Number two, for children, for our children to settle down today, it is very difficult. Things are extremely very expensive. When I built my first house at 30 something, cement was 50 naira a bag. It was an infinitesimal component of my salary. Now, cement in Nigeria ranges to up to 7,000 to 8,000 naira. The factories in those days were abundant everywhere. Leyland, Dunlop, Michelin, um, name them, they were all over the place. And so to get jobs was quite easy. And the population contending and contesting for these jobs were quite few. For you to open a shop, buy a property, build a house is extremely difficult for our children. I could sponsor my marriage on my own as at 26 when I was doing NYSC because there were many clinics I could walk and um, there was opportunities for me. It's not like that today. To even see somewhere to do internship as a medical doctor is difficult. But the children of the elite, they are having their way. So what do we do? We as parents, we need to build a foundation for our children. We need to build a financial base. We need to build a network. We need to build a net worth for our children to be able to go to the next level. At the same time, we need to teach them to be independent, not to be sissies and not to be lazy. We need to teach them very early to start learning how to run the family businesses, how to take over from us. Even in the civil service, we need to put them there early to learn how to take from take over from us. There are our contemporaries who are in politics uh, putting their children in positions of authority to take over from them. We must not be the foolish generation or make the mistakes our own fathers made. When I was building this house here, my eldest son was in a private university. He came, he was forming a jebota. <laughs> I told him, my guy, take polythene and block in between the planks. And he did. And I gave him such water to drink. I told him, do you know why I told you to do this? He said, no. I said, so that you will know the pain it took us to build this house so that you won't sell it when I die. And so my granddaughter, um, I have allowed her to go to school with uh, public transport with one of my workers and trek back with my wife because I want to harden her a bit. I've been using messages to carry her, he locks to carry her, other cars to carry her. But I wanted her to experience the other side of midnight. God bless you. 
I am your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Remember, I have a seminar coming up on the 7th of uh, June by 7 p.m. Send a message to me on plus 234705213 God bless you.